Hello, this is a tutorial on how to deal with pivot tables that have count listed and you want to change to sum um, and you want to do it all at one time as opposed to manually going through and changing each one of these to sum. Um, this gets very time consuming especially if you're dealing with a giant pivot table. Um, this pivot table here is um, based off the data that I have here on a fake candy company that has different operations that happen throughout various weeks and there's different times for each of these operations but you'll see some blanks here because maybe a portion of their weeks they're making candy that don't require all the processes and that is what causes your pivot table to create these counts as the default if you have a data set that's entirely filled with data the default will be sum um, so that to start with is why you're seeing this count. Um, to do this change from count to sum on mass, I'm going to use a uh, macro I actually found online on excelpivots.com under Excel change multi pivot table field sum function. And there is about midway down a macro here that I simply copy and paste and it looks like it's created by someone who's really really smart named Dr. Moxie. I um, haven't done any research on who that is but I definitely want to give credit to this person because I use this uh, macro all the time at work and what we do then is go back to our Excel pivot table and we go to the developer tab which if you don't have this as an option you simply push alt F11 and when you do that you'll bring up the developer tab and this is the same thing as going to developer visual basic and what we want to do here is insert module and we're gonna paste that entire uh, macro in here if you have any issues if this doesn't run for you properly it's likely because you skipped one of the lines in the copy and paste and now what we're gonna do is hit the play button and it's going to automatically change all of our pivot table counts to sum. And now this obviously doesn't look that impressive if you're dealing with this small data set. That probably took longer um, than just doing it manually. But when, again, when we're dealing with a massive pivot table, this can save a lot of time. Um, the beauty of this particular macro um, is that we can also change it. It doesn't have to be sum. This uh, column right here that says function equals XL, we can change this to average, for instance, and run it, and it will change everything to average. Or we can change it back to count, and whatever you put in there will change everything at all at once. Um, this is also true, so if we were to continue to create uh, pivot tables throughout our worksheet, we could simply go back to the developer tab, Visual Basic, and hit play and this will work through all your worksheets um, regardless of which one you had open when you originally put it in. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you save some time.